Hello. Um, right, I've had a request to do a film about uh, the of mice and men question, or the capturing the rye question, or whatever lit text you're you're doing. Um, so this film will hope to tell you how to plan and structure a response to the literature prose, the literature novel in the exam. Um, okay, so here goes how to approach the exam questions for of mice and men, or whatever you're doing. Okay, learning intention then is to understand one possible approach to structuring a successful response. It's not the only approach uh, and, it, and it works better with some questions than others but where it does work I think it's really successful. It's called the three-step plan. Um, right, here's a question, a sample question. What do you think Steinbeck has to say about dreams in Of Mice and Men? I think that's a fairly typical question. It is a, it is a past question but it's from yonks ago. Um, the first thing you do then if you get a question like this is you you look at the keywords you establish what what is the question actually asking you to do so it requires close reading of the question lots of people underline the keywords and that's probably a good idea to do in this case you'd be picking out things like uh, what does he have to say and of course the real key thing is dreams isn't it that's the theme that this essay is going to back but also what does he have to say what's his messages what are his beliefs what does he get across uh, in, in this uh, novel um, Okay, what you do at this point is you plan. You have to think, give yourself time to think about what you're going to say. Don't panic and just start writing straight away. That's disastrous for this planning and structure. So this, the three-step plan requires you to come up with three substantial, decent ideas. And I think if you can't come up with three decent ideas about dreams and of mice and men, then you haven't read the novel carefully enough. You need to go back and read it. You haven't revised enough. Okay, you've got to know these novels really well uh, to be successful, obviously, in your GCSE. Right, uh, let's get on. So in terms of the actual structure of your writing, oh, right, oh, yes, I forgot about this. This is, um, you know, when teachers try to be entertaining in their lessons by having colourful pictures. I'm, this is me trying to do that. Follow the three-step plan. Follow the yellow brick road. I know it's not working. Oh, let's move on. Um, so first step. Answer the question in your first sentence, making sure you use the keyword. So an example here, John Steinbeck uses a, makes a variety of points about dreams and of mice and men. Okay, so you're just straight on to the question. You don't need a massive, great, big introduction. We've been reading John Steinbeck's of mice and men in class. You know, get straight on to the question. So here, th th that achieves that, I think. Um, second step is where you list the main points you wish to make. So you go back to your planning, you think about your planning, and you make a, you list them in your second sentence. So here we've got, for example, he shows that dreams are important to keep people going through life. He explores the illusion of the American dream and he suggests that in the end many dreams come to nothing. I hope you can see that right at the bottom. So can you see you've got one, two, three very clear ideas. The plan that's come from the planning section. So from here you've come up with the ideas, you've done the thinking and you've come up with three ideas to put into your second sentence. One, two, three. And that's the end of your introduction. Okay? It's quite good because it forces you to plan. In order to do this successfully, you have to come up with three points. So if you know you're aiming to include that in your introduction, you know that you're forcing yourself to get your essay on track from the start, really. Your third step, then, is simply to take each of those points, your red, your orange, and your green, and to write a substantial section exploring each of the points that you've made. This is where you bring in your PEE, your examples, your analysis, your consideration of language, um, all of those sorts of things you know that you need to do, your PEE plus, basically. But your structure is set from the start. So it will end up looking, well, it won't look exactly like this, obviously, because you're handwriting. But here's a student essay where they've got their first sentence here, They've got their one, two, three points, and then look, a substantial section here about point one. All of this is point one. All of this is point two. All of this is point three. And then maybe a little conclusion at the end, just summing things up. Possibly, if you think three points is limiting, uh, and you're not going to, you know, you think there's much more to say, in your, in your conclusion you could say, of course, I could also have considered other aspects such as blah, blah, blah. Um, but that is a really clear three-step plan essay which gets today, as you see. Um, right, so I would say it doesn't work for all questions. Look at this one. In Of Mice and Men, Steinbeck presents some of his characters being weak in some way. Choose two characters you think are weak, write about how they're presented. Well, that's going to be more difficult to do a very simple three-step plan. You might have to do sort of two mini three-step plans for that. But why don't you now have a look at this question? George is a strong character. I've only got 15 seconds from speeding up. But a victim too. How does the writer use him in the novel? Try and write a three-step uh, introduction, uh, an essay, to answer that question. Okay, any questions, come and see me.